Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Note in Aries. So if your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements are in Aries, this message should resonate. So please feel free to take what resonates, okay? So Aries, if you would like to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Note signs, if you know them, you can check those out too. It'll put everything together, like all the pieces to the puzzle together. All right, so yeah, so I'm, I feel like I'm talking to an Aries that has social status, okay? Um, you could be somebody seen in the public eye, Aries, or you could have a good social media following. You could be known in your community about something. But yeah, let's go ahead and tap into your energy and see what you need to know for this upcoming week. I also want to go ahead and let you know to take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, it's okay. It doesn't have to. It's just meant for those it resonates with. So I could say he, it means she. It could be past, present, future energy. It's going to just be up to you to use your intuition as well as your discernment, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on with Aries. Protect me as I channel spirit and provide a channel message for Aries. Okay, so we have money tree out here. It looks like your dreams are about to come true, especially when it comes to your finances. Okay, whatever you have been wishing for, praying for, or just manifesting at this time, okay? Spirit of Sin is coming. A lot of money, a lot of new opportunities. Maybe you're getting a new job or, yeah, social status again. Some of you are... Some of you are known in the public eye. It says you will reach the heights of fame in society that you are looking for. Some of you want to be a singer or you want to be an actress or you want to be somebody that's seen in the public eye for something, okay? Some of you could be models, but Spirit is saying that you will reach the heights of fame in society that you're looking to reach. Some of you could be spiritualists, all right? And you're seeing this, uh, the public eye. But Spirit wants to warn you, do not get arrogant, okay? As long as you don't get arrogant, these doors will remain open for you. So let's go ahead and see what else we need to know. Some of you may be in the music industry. Okay, I'm seeing that you could finally be moving. If some of you are moving in a house or you sold a house, okay, you could have bought a house. And I'm saying that you could be moving. If you're not moving, you could be getting uh, important news in the mail. It could be good news about your children or yeah, something's coming in. There's some sort of forward movement coming in. For some of you, you could be traveling or going on a plane trip. But yeah, I definitely see forward moving. What else? Things moving forward with your finances after a period of things being stuck. All right, so we have the death card, Scorpio energy out here. Let's see. There could be a change, Aries, that you could be resisting at this time. Something that could you could have some insecurities about. But I'm going to go ahead and dig more into it before I say so. Oh, it came out. Okay. So there are some insecurities showing up about something that needs to change. For some of you, this could be uh, with a soulmate. Or someone you share children with, someone from your childhood. Let's see. What is this death strength in reverse? We have the eight of coins. And we also have the devil in reverse with the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I definitely see celebrating. Um, going out with friends, reconciliation, maybe just catching up with people you used to know, getting together with family, maybe like a family get together. I'm also seeing for some of you, there could be some friends that, or somebody in your life, like a connection where somebody won't change. They're resisting a change, okay? This could be somebody that shows extreme signs of insecurity I'm getting Leo energy, Scorpio energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces out here. With the eight of coins in reverse, somebody could have lost their job or money could be tight right now and it could be causing some ins insecurities because there could be a need to change careers or change something. Yeah, there's, there's a need, there's an insecurity showing up about a change that needs to happen. But I'm seeing 
once you're free from this addiction or codependency or whatever this is, this is going to allow more celebration and joy in your life. All right, let's see. I'm going to break this down and see what this is. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, investing in yourself, spending time with yourself, focusing on your finances, your independence, your wealth. Let's see, what's the death in reverse for Aries spirit? Death in reverse for Aries. Oh, the devil. Okay, so yeah, somebody, there's a change that's being uh, resisted. Um, for some of you, this is somebody in your energy that has some sort of toxic um, habit, Capricorn energy or addiction. Somebody could be very materialistic or they could feel stuck with someone or this could be your energy, Aries, where you feel um, like you're trapped or stuck in something, a cycle. Maybe you're struggling to overcome some sort of addiction or materialistic mindset with the devil out here. Okay, this could be causing a loss in your finances. What is this with the devil and the death in reverse? Yeah, there's a change that's being um, resisted that needs to occur. There's a change that needs to occur. Whether it's you being more secure in your power, being more confident, okay? Or maybe even looking for a new career and putting a work into something that you see worth investing into. What is the tower in reverse? Yeah, okay. So for some of you, this is somebody in your energy that could be addicted to you. This person didn't want to change. So I'm seeing that you are choosing to move forward from something, okay? Bring balance and harmony in your life. For some of you, you could be seen in a public platform, um, but you're also being seen as successful, celebrating, having the victory over something, okay? What else? What else? Yeah, for some of you, you could uh, there could be um, a queen of cups, a mother figure, or um, some sort of feminine energy, a baby mother figure, a wife, somebody that could be very selfish, um, spiteful this person has a lot of addictions and codependency issues they're attached to some sort of dark energy and i'm getting that this person will not change aries um i'm also seeing that you are avoiding a disaster or you you were protected from something so something that fell apart had to happen for you to be able to have this victory that you're getting so if something ended tragically, uh, tragically with someone else, it was supposed to because you are meant to be celebrated, okay? Not, not hated or not disliked. Yeah, you ended a cycle and this is what brought a new beginning and some change that you made. Whether you let go of something, whatever you did, this is what diverted this disaster from happening in your life. There could be some insecurities about finances. Maybe you view somebody as lazy, somebody that you can't grow with. Okay, if this is not you viewing someone this way, you could be insecure about your finances. You could feel very impatient and this could be causing insecurities and a lot of fear and anxiety. But Spirit is saying that you're in an illusion because things are about to definitely pick up in your life now that, yeah, with Money Tree out here, things are about to improve with your finances if you've been struggling financially. With Strength in Reverse, Leo Energy. Yeah, some of you are spiritual teachers. Um, you're somebody with good morals, good ethics, and Spirit is teaching you a lesson. There's a lesson being taught here. I'm also saying you learned the lesson, and this is why balance is coming into your life. Okay, it's important for you to be very confident and in, in your power at this time. Yeah, Spirit wants you to take action towards your goals. So there, there's something, some of you need to change your career. Your career could be toxic. Somebody could have a toxic job. Or if this isn't a career, there needs to be a change 
when it comes to this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Somebody is very reckless. This person could be violent. They could like to show off. I just get a very abusive, a physically abusive person. Like somebody that could actually put their hands on you or somebody could be dealing with someone like this. Okay. This is somebody that is not going to change. Yeah. Spirit is advising a breakup or a divorce or a new direction okay and i'm not encouraging this i'm just giving you what the cards say it's going to be up to you to make that choice aries what else yeah somebody's learning a lesson about treating you this way though what is the knight of swords somebody's learning a lesson about doing that to you because this person treated you very dishonest. They didn't want to take accountability. They were very unfair to you. And now this person is facing court. Okay, somebody could be going to court and it's not going in their favor. Or they could be going to spiritual court and having to pay for how they treated you. This person could be scared. Yeah, this person wasn't faithful to you, Aries. And they didn't want to come back to you. In hopes that you will give to them again. But you've let go. For a lot of you, you've let go. I'm getting Libra energy out here too. Scorpio. What else? By the tower in reverse. Yeah, since you did... Um, since this person wouldn't change, you did delay this disaster. But Spirit is asking you to recuperate. Because whatever this person put you through, it did affect you. For some of you, this person tried to break you down and make you very insecure. So that nobody would try to want to be around you. But Spirit is saying that it's time for you to heal. Even if you need to take some time by yourself and just heal. Okay, Spirit is encouraging you to do that. This person in your energy is refusing to learn a lesson, okay? This person is non-committal as well. I'm also seeing their finances being blocked. What's the eight of coins in reverse? What's the eight of coins in reverse? Yeah, so if you've lost a job recently or you're having money problems, Spirit is bringing balance into your life. You guys are definitely about to pick yourself up from any obstacles that you have been suffering with. I'm seeing by you focusing on your independence, on your success, on you at this time, Aries, you're bringing in a lot of good things for yourself. There is somebody that was a bad investment, this Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, that you've healed from. And I'm saying this person did ignore their calling. Okay, this is why there's some financial loss or there's a loss of a job because somebody could be ignoring their calling. If this is you or this person, please take it how it fits, okay? But I see right here with the money tree, it says enjoy your wealth. You guys are wealthy. Like you're going to be wealthy if you're not already. Yeah, somebody wants to come and fix something with you. An earth sign possibly or an Aquarius because this person wants to scam you. Somebody wants to steal something from you or take something from you because they're overwhelmed with their finances. So be careful with trickster energies as well. These people that want to get back in your life just so they can take something from you. Yeah, you're closed off to this person. You're closed off to this person. And spirit is giving you something new because you decided to close yourself off to this person, this stagnant, stuck individual. I'm seeing you're going to be able to make new plans to move forward. There's this balance coming in. For some of you, if you lost your job, there's a new job coming. There's something coming with great potential for greatness. So yeah, forward movement after being stuck, after a deceitful, treacherous betrayal, I'm seeing that there's forward movement, okay? Some of you, like I said in the beginning, you're moving, you're moving forward, you're traveling, whatever you're doing, something is occurring fastly, okay? It's happening fast now. And I'm getting you're moving towards your abundance as well. Yep. Emperor energy. You're moving towards more structure, more control in your life, a new journey. What else was the three of wands in reverse? Yeah, it came back out, page of wands. Okay, you guys are definitely going to be more confident where you're going to move towards. Like, it's going to bring more confidence. This is going to be a new journey that's going to be something you're very passionate about. 
Spirit is telling you to be fearless as you embark in this new journey. Okay, get excited. I'm also seeing with the Emperor out here. We have the Emperor. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. You guys have made a change. Like you've changed destiny. And now you have good luck on your side. Yeah, you're in this Emperor energy. Aries energy. This is your energy, Aries. You guys, some of you could be fathers. You are gaining control of your life. You're taking back your your you're taking back your power from people who tried to take it from you. And by you doing this, this is completely like change your destiny. Yeah, there's a giant breakthrough coming your way. Okay, just don't be afraid of change. Because if you're afraid of change, it's going to keep you stuck. Don't hold back at this time. Go towards your Ten of Pentacles. Okay? There is an inheritance coming in, maybe some wealth or a fortune that you are headed towards. Some of you may have to let go of somebody you could be in a connection with. Or, or you might have to detach from your toxic family, friends, co-workers, whatever connection this is that's showing up in reverse. Okay, what's the devil here? That led us to the devil. Some of you have toxic things in your life that could be blocking your money. What's the devil in reverse? What's the devil in reverse? Whether this was drinking, you escaped, sex addiction, drug addiction, um, just ego, whatever this is, okay? Whatever was keeping you stuck in fears and anxieties, okay? You've decided to walk away from that. Yeah, and there's somebody in your energy stuck in fear because you are not the same person anymore. Gemini energy, Capricorn out here. Okay, some of you could be stuck in fear and overthinking at this time. What is this? What is being over... What is this? Okay, so it looks like there could be a Taurus or a Libra. Um, we have an Empress energy. doesn't have to be, but this person is very codependent and they're stuck in fear. Somebody's having nightmares and they're having a lot of anxiety. This person is very empty inside and they're very smothering. Somebody also could be a bad mom or a bad dad. This person is overthinking at this time. What's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Somebody's overthinking something. Let me see. What's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? One card. Yeah, somebody, somebody's scared that you are being recognized for who you truly are. Somebody's upset that you are having a victory without them, okay? That you're being successful, that you're about to be celebrated without them. Somebody's mad about that. Somebody's mad that you avoided some horrible decision. Scorpio energy, cancer. Yeah, this person had a lack of control, so they lost an opportunity with you, and now they're mad about it, okay? Some of you could have some self-doubt that you need to let go of. Yeah, Spirit is saying that you've already healed from this heartbreak, from this trauma, from depression, from grief, post-traumatic stress syndrome I'm hearing, from your childhood, and now, now you're free. Yeah. And whoever missed an opportunity with you, this person lost out because they tried to control you. They tried to oppress you. Yeah. Now you're following your heart. Some of you are psychic or you're being creative right now. And somebody else is stagnant now that you've left them out in the cold. All right. So let's see. What's the three of cups? Like you're going to be celebrated, like I said before. What is the three of cups for Aries? Look at this. You, you are confident. You're adventurous. You're full of energy at this time. You could be very attractive. People could be looking at you. They're watching you celebrate, watching you be appreciated. For some of you, there could be another Aries energy, somebody with Aries in their chart, um, father figure. This person could be watching you, could be a boss, a father figure, friend, ex-lover. This person is watching you celebrate and be happy without them. 
they're watching you move towards something new. Yeah, for some of you, Taurus energy out here as well. I'm seeing that you could have taught this person a lesson. You could have worked hard with this person and this person just couldn't give you what you deserve. For some of you, you were mar married to this person. But I'm getting you learned the valuable lesson with the Hierophant out, out here. Some of you are spiritual teachers or you're meant to be. Yeah, and somebody was not being themselves with you. They weren't showing you who they really were. Now this person is depressed because you're happy. And they also don't like that they lost somebody that looked as good as you. They're unhappy because your season and opportunity, you're happy. You're excited for the future. Somebody's unhappy with that. Mm. What's the higher font? Yeah, this person is stuck in their head playing victim. Feeling unlucky that they chose the wrong choice. Yeah, because you you've you've moved forward. You're you're healing slowly, but you've moved forward and you're looking forward to the future. Okay, even if that means you have to spend some time by yourself, kind of just healing. But you're doing it. And your money is going to be improving, okay? Now that you are freeing yourself from toxic things that could have been affecting you. Here, let me get one more of these cards. I want to see what else is going on. Yeah, something was not a surprise. It wasn't a surprise to you. Spirit is saying it's a change coming at this time, okay, to your love life. It might feel negative, but it's going to, it's going to lead you somewhere better because there is a codependency relationship here that i'm picking up all right let's see what else what else for aries spirit when it comes to love what else when it comes to love for aries spirit okay some of you could be going on a rendezvous or Get, going on a private getaway just you and someone else Scorpio energy what else some of you could be going somewhere by yourself just to take a vacation by yourself get to know yourself and you may even meet somebody that's a part of your soul path it says a personal evolution within your relationship so somebody might you might come across a connection that might be very um, healing and help with evolving you if that makes sense this uh, this connection is a part of your soul's path you were destined to meet somebody to evolve through a relationship what else Ooh, two of them over here yeah somebody that you supported this could have been a karmic soulmate Yeah, you're not rekindling with this karmic soulmate. This person's very materialistic. You're not having sex with this person either. Some of you, there could be a friend coming towards you. And this friend could be friend zone. And this could be somebody that you're destined to be with. Alright, so let's see. What else? Let me get someone the three of cups. What is the Three of Cups out here, Spirit? What is the Three of Cups? Celebration. Yeah, there's a Queen of Pentacles that has some uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that is mean, jealous. This person is a social climber and they're very materialistic. Somebody's deceitful as well. They could be into theft or scamming. This person is cheating. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What else? They come off as very loving and nurturing, but they're not. They see you as somebody compassionate, caring, affectionate, and friendly. But this person is dishonest. Libra energy. Yeah. For some of you, you could be going to court or this person could be facing karma at this time. And their karma is to watch you celebrate and be happy without them. Somebody might have also put you in a third party. But I'm saying this is, this is what made you strong, okay? This is a situation that... that help birth your power you gain inner strength clarity 
your, you realize how brave you were in a situation like this and you were able to show compassion to your enemy. Now you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your abundance at this time, okay? What else? Yeah, this devil energy is what you needed to go through to be able to gain your strength. But this person, this Queen of Pentacles, this person is reckless, okay? They did something very naive. Because they saw how, how sweet you were, how loving you were. And for some of you, you have a family with this person. This is somebody you could have married or have kids with. Yeah, this person is very lost. You could be separated from this person or thinking about separating from this person, Aries. But Spirit is bringing you a lot more into your life because of this situation, because you're in your personal power. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's coming in your life when it comes to new love. What's coming for Aries when it comes to new love, Spirit? Can I get one card? New love. So for some of you, there could be a fear of abandonment that needs to be healed in order to attract this new love into your life. There's a lesson that spirit wants you to learn so you won't continue to make the same mistakes and attract the same kind of person in a different body. Okay, some of you need to let go of this abandonment wound, um, let go of this fear of being alone and decide to heal. And I'm getting once you do this, um, once you have the faith to do this, the the, the strength to do this, spirit is going to bring something better into your life. But some of you do need to learn to establish healthy ba uh, boundaries. Okay, it's important for you to learn how to say no to people who don't deserve you. This fear of change is keeping you from being who you are really meant to be, your authentic self. There is a childhood wound that needs to be healed from that could be causing you a lot of chaos and hardship. But once it's healed, I'm seeing that the wheel of fortune is in your favor. Okay, then things can go however you want them to go. Success, completion, happiness, soulmate. There's going to be a change. Okay. You may even decide to disconnect from a toxic family situation. Somebody you have children with Pisces energy. It doesn't have to be, but where there's a broken home. And you may decide to heal from that. For some of you, you may even grew up in a broken home where the parents have divorced. But Spirit is saying you're about to get something new into your life. There's a new journey waiting for you. And before I pull these cards, new love did fall out on the table. So new love does want to come up for you, Aries. But it's just a little bit more work in the journey, it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, Spirit wants you to love your shadow accept and work with the flaws in yourself so you can learn to accept others as they are this is important for your wound okay you have to be able to accept other people for what they are if this person or somebody from your past or future if they're showing you that they're not willing to change or they're not who they say they are it's time to move forward and recognize those red flags yeah spirit wants you to free yourself you don't need to be in control at this time of everything for a love relationship to be successful so spirit doesn't want you to feel stuck okay everything is working out the way it's supposed to and there is true love here out on the table but it's in reverse it's waiting for you to free yourself for you to love your shadow and for some of you this is somebody that you knew in a past life that wants to come back around a soulmate but first, you have to free yourself from this past person and not just this past person, but what's attached to this past person. Because what's attached to, the, uh, to this past person is this abandonment wound, okay? This childhood wound and this childhood wound has to be healed in order for you to walk away and decide that, hey, I'm okay by myself. I love myself. I'm enough, okay? I'm deserving of true love. I can wait for the right person. Somebody I can accept as they are and not have to feel like I need to change this person, okay? Because you're basically deciding to try to change someone on the outside because you need to be putting that on yourself. If you feel like you need to change someone or fix someone outside, it's because there's a part of you, you know, that you need to change on the inside, okay? Things need to be balanced on the inside. And once this is balanced, I do see true love coming into your life. I see once these difficulties are out of the way, and once you know that you are enough, the person that you're meant to be with will love you the way that you are. Okay, you don't need to change. 
you're going to be loved for who you are. But this person in your energy, this person isn't the one. So, yes, Aries, I do see that you are continuing to do healing work. And at this time, I'm, I'm here in Rose Quartz. Okay, Rose Quartz is a good crystal to work with. This is what Rose Quartz look like for anybody that doesn't know. Rose Quartz is pink. It's the stone of self-love. And it also attracts true love into your life. So definitely work with the Rose Quartz. Um, and I'm also hearing if somebody struggles with addictions, Amethyst. Okay, so I don't know who that was for. But an Amethyst stone would be good for addictions as well. So... Aries, let me go ahead and get you a spiritual message. I thought our reading was over. I'm sorry, Aries. Let's get you something from the ancestors. Let's see what they have to tell you. This time. And then we'll get you a piece of advice and I'll let you go. What's going on with Aries? Okay, Spirit is saying there will soon be cause for celebration in your life. What did I say, Aries? Spirit says get ready to call up your family, your friends to propose a toast to you on your achievements. You are about to be celebrating something at this time. It says, begin to release toxic people from your life. You know who those people are, whether they are family, friends, a lover, etc. It is time to release all these people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Okay? You don't need these people no more. You've, you've passed your karmic test. It says, spirit says, you are the magician. Whatever it is you wish to have in this lifetime, you must develop the willpower to make it happen and make it yours. So some of you need to develop this willpower to go after the things that you want at this time. Go after everything that you want and feel like you deserve. It's, it's, it's time, okay? What is it? Past time. Go after that wish fulfillment. Go after those things you love and desire. All right, so let's see. What does Aries need to know, Spirit? Final message. Okay, so, so you could be finding out some secrets this week about someone from your past. Spirit wants you to try to show compassion. Okay, trust your intuition when it comes to this person. And if you are called to be spend time by yourself at this time in the hermit mode, it's more so it's, it's the part of your journey where it's time for you to be by yourself. There are some things that must be done on your own, is the advice, okay? Especially when it comes to healing with the Four of Swords. It says, why aren't you resting? Some of you need to spend time resting this week. You could be working a lot or just, there could be a lot of things that could be blocking you. And Spirit wants you to spend some time in introspection. Ask yourself why you're holding on so tightly to people that are not worthy of your love. That can't recognize your love. So if you're holding on to people that you feel like you have to chase, I think it's time to stop chasing and attracting because otherwise, until you do the healing work, you're going to keep pulling in people with the same abandonment wound, the same toxic trait, and it's not going to be healed. Spirit wants you to go ahead and heal the wound that got you here, okay? So Aries, that has been your message for today. I hope it resonated. Um, if you can, support the channel or donate. If you could just like, share, and subscribe if you like the message. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I'm sending blessings and love to you all. Bye, Aries.